Alright y'all, I got some bonus material here for you, and um, I do not know what has gotten into President Biden, but I like it, and you're gonna like it too. So, he's out here giving a speech, this comes on the heels of his State of the Union address, where him and Republicans had a back and forth, where um, Biden said, hey, these guys want to cut Social Security, and they were like, boo, liar, boo, boo. And, you know, he basically flipped it back on them and was like, oh, cool, so we have an agreement. Bet. That's what's up. Uh, well, he has not let up since then, and he is absolutely bodying Senator Gremlin Boy, Senator Con Artist, more on that in a minute. He's a literal con artist. We'll get to it. Rick Scott. So here he is giving a speech. Listen, to, this is the most aggressive I've seen Joe Biden maybe ever. By the way, we're on the topic of Medicare. The distinguished senator, and I mean, I shouldn't be smart guy, Senator Rick Scott from Florida. <laughs> oh, I already love that. I love when he cuts himself off and he doesn't even know where he is. Watch. But he's going to obliterate this dude even though he doesn't know where he is. By the way, we're on the topic of Medicare. The distinguished senator, and I mean, I shouldn't be smart guy, <laughs> Senator Rick Scott from Florida, who is responsible for getting Republicans elected to the Senate, is a little bit in hot water right now. Because his plan is to sunset Medicare and Social Security. Well, meaning if you don't reauthorize them every five years, they'll go out of existence. Sunset them. They'll go away. <laughs> As I said in the State of the Union, if everyone tries, anyone tries to get rid of Social Security or Medicare, I will veto it. <laughs> That's the Republican dream. I'm their nightmare. <laughs> Look, oh, shit, son. <laughs> oh, shit. Let him cook, dog. He cooking right now. You saw when I said that on the floor, maybe if you saw it, you saw when I said that on the floor, I said, no, no, liar, liar. I said, that means you're not going to cut Medicare or Social Security? And they all stood up and started to clap. I said, well, we got to settle then. <laughs> Remember? No, seriously. <laughs> well, it's all on film. Let's see who votes to, 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 to cut it. Look, and here's Rick Scott's response to this. He says that because I'm cutting, he said, I'm cutting prescription drug costs. That means I'm cutting Medicare. Where has he been? I think he's a little confused. Damn. So that last point he made there, yeah, the Republican rebuttal to what Joe Biden said is, hey, man, you already cut Medicare by $300 billion. Now, here's why that's a disgusting lie. He only, quote unquote, cut Medicare by $300 billion because he cut the price of prescription drugs for seniors in the IRA. Now, unfortunately, it was only some drugs. It was not all drugs, but it's a $300 billion cut in the sense that there are going to be savings, but you get the same result. You get the same amount of drugs. They're just cheaper. They're allowing Medicare to nego negotiate the price for certain drugs. So really, you know, there should be a $800 billion cut or whatever the number is because you can negotiate for all the drug prices. Now, they didn't do that again. It was only some of the drug prices, but it is undoubtedly a good thing, and it is a lie to say, oh, Biden cut Medicare. That is a sleight of hand, disgusting, gross trick, because there are not services being cut. And make no mistake about it, guys. The Republicans, Rick Scott, all these people, they know they're lying. Kevin McCarthy, he made this argument too. They know they're lying when they say that. They're trying to trick people into thinking Biden cut services when he did not cut services. And of course, it is them who want to cut services. So I, this is the most aggressive I've seen Biden. Um, I love it. And it also is an indication that he's going to hold strong because he thinks he's on you know solid ground politically and in the eyes of the public. And he is when it comes to protecting Social Security and Medicare. And this is 
a total 180 from 1990s Biden who wanted to cut Social Security and Medicare and was willing to make a deal on that front. He was the VP for Obama. Obama was willing to make some cuts to Medicare and Social Security. Now, that deal fell through because the Tea Party wanted more cuts, but the fact that Obama put any on the table was definitely a betrayal of the Democratic base, but more importantly, a betrayal of seniors. Biden looks like he's learned his lesson since then, at least on this issue, and he's like, no, I'm not cutting it. I mean, he bodied this dude. Senator Gremlin boy bodied him. Now, I told you at the beginning of this segment that Rick Scott is a literal con artist. That's factual. And it's hilarious that he's going after anybody on the issue of Medicare because look at this. There's been a thousand articles written about this. I could have pulled up any of them, but here it is in Politi PolitiFact. Uh, says Rick Scott, so the Florida Democratic Party said Rick Scott, quote, oversaw the largest Medicare fraud in the nation's history. PolitiFact rates that mostly true. So they go on to explain he was the CEO of um, Columbia and HCA. And that hospital company was fined $1.7 billion for Medicare fraud. They did hundreds of millions of dollars in Medicare fraud. And this explains all of that in detail. So here's a guy who's just an absolutely, you know, criminal son of a bitch. And he's daring to argue on this front. They're such weaselly little liars, man. They really are. And I don't know what's gotten into Biden on this issue in particular, but you love to see it. You'll, I mean, he is really making them pay a political price for their, uh, you know, idea to sunset Social Security and Medicare, or at the very least, cut it or try to privatize it or semi-privatize it. This is uh, this is good stuff. This is good stuff. You love to see it.